The purpose of this instructional video is to provide assistance to senior level law students at the University of Victoria Faculty of Law. In particular, this video will provide an example of tendering real uh, evidence through an eyewitness at trial. Uh, there are a number of different ways that exhibits can come into a trial, but in this particular case, uh, the premise will be a Crown attorney uh, leading uh, real evidence through an eyewitness to a bank robbery. Mr. Smith, where were you at 4 o'clock? I was at the bank. What were you doing at the bank? I had to do some transactions. Uh, I had to cash some checks. Did anything out of the ordinary happen while you were at the bank? Yeah. As I was leaving, the alarm went off and I saw a man running from the bank. What direction was the man running? Uh, he was running away from the bank and down the road. Was this man carrying anything? Yeah, he had a uh, he had a gun in one hand and a backpack in the other. Was this man wearing any distinguishable clothing? Yeah, he had a uh, he had a white hat on with blue and gold accents. Uh, I think it was an Edmonton Oilers hat, and it it fell off his head as he was running. Mr. Smith, I'd like to show you an item. The first step is introducing the exhibit. Here, the prosecutor has started this process by saying, I'm going to show you an item. Mr. Smith, I'd like to show you an item. Mr. Smith, do you recognize that item? Yeah, that, that's the uh, that's the hat the man was wearing when I saw him leaving a bank. The second step is showing the exhibit. Here, the prosecutor first showed her friend, the defense counsel, what she was going to show to the witness, and then presented it to the witness. Can you describe the hat? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a white hat, it's got navy blue and, and gold accents, and it's got an Edmonton Oilers logo on the front. The third step is proving the exhibit. First of all, the exhibit has to be relevant to a matter in the case, and it has to be authentic. So it has to be what it actually purports to be, and the witness must be qualified to tell the jury or the judge that it is what it is. Your Honor, I'd like to tender this as Exhibit 1. Is there any objection to that? No, thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. It can be marked as Exhibit 1. The fourth step is marking the exhibit. Once the foundation for the exhibit has been laid by the witness, uh, the counsel will generally approach the bench and ask that the exhibit be marked in the case. Usually it will be given a numeric exhibit number, and that will be designated by the clerk of the court or the judge. Thank you. It can be marked as Exhibit 1. Mr. Smith, you've indicated that you've seen the hat on a man's head. Is that man in court today? Yes, he's, he's sitting right there. For the record, the witness is indicating the accused. Thank you. That indication is noted. The fifth step is using the exhibit. So in this case, um, the exhibit has been used by this witness in identifying the accused. But later on in the case, the exhibit may be referred to by other witnesses. For example, a DNA expert who matched DNA in the hat to the accused person. Mr. Smith, where were you at 4 o'clock? I was at the bank. What were you doing at the bank? I had to do some transactions. Uh, I had to cash some checks. Did anything out of the ordinary happen while you were at the bank? Yeah. 
as I was leaving, the alarm went off, and I saw a man running from the bank. What direction was the man running? Uh, he was running away from the bank and down the road. Was this man carrying anything? Yeah, he had a uh, he had a gun in one hand and a backpack in the other. Was this man wearing any distinguishable clothing? Yeah, he had a uh, he had a white hat on with blue and gold accents. Uh, I think it was an Edmonton Oilers hat, and it it fell off his head as he was running. Mr. Smith, I'd like to show you an item. Mr. Smith, do you recognize that item? Yeah, that, that's the uh, that's the hat the man was wearing when I saw him leaving a bank. Can you describe the hat? Yeah, it's uh, it's a white hat. It's got navy blue and, and gold accents, and it's got an Edmonton Oilers logo on the front. Your Honor, I'd like to tender this as Exhibit One. Is there any objection to that? No, thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. It can be marked as Exhibit One. Mr. Smith, you've indicated that you've seen the hat on a man's head. Is that man in court today? Yes, he's, he's sitting right there. For the record, the witness is indicating the accused. Thank you. That indication is noted. There are many different types of exhibits and ways that they may become evidence at a trial. What you've seen here is an example of real evidence being tendered through a witness. It gives you the broad basics and the reasons behind each particular step that you saw. So good luck.